Welcome back. Getting room service might take a little longer than usual for some travelers in California this July 4th holiday. And there's another standoff which could play havoc with the entertainment industry for at least the next few months. John Lorenk reports. Roughly 15,000 employees at 65 major hotels in the Los Angeles area walked off the job Sunday and are on strike. The union representing the workers say they've been in talks since April over issues including an immediate $5 per hour raise and better health care and retirement benefits. All of this stuff is happening with the backdrop, backdrop of these hotels making so much money. A lot of them now are making more money in revenue than they were in 2019. Among the hotels being affected by the strike, the W Hollywood, Beverly Hilton, Sheraton Grand and the LA Grand. During the pandemic, we were called essential workers. Now there's no pandemic. Uh, employers think we are not essential anymore and they think they can run without us. But we all know that's not true. A Marriott spokesperson released a statement saying it will work toward a fair labor agreement and have protocols in place to keep the doors open. Speaking of strikes. We are SAG after strong and solidarity with the WGA. Plans for thousands of actors to join the picket line against studios and streaming services are now on hold until July 12th. But if things don't get worked out by then... You're going to start seeing a big drop-off if the actors take to the streets in new shows on both the traditional networks and the streamers. And you're going to see some of your ceremonies, like the Emmys, go dark. I'm John Lawrence reporting.